Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla, and today we are in the city of Canalville, and we are going to be working on our downtown. First, I wanted to take a, take a step back and look at our city and see how far we've come along. So we still have quite a bit that we have not developed yet. We have not developed past this mark over towards our main freeway, the one that we started out with. But then we still have this large area that we could do some industrial. We have this little island, and then we have what we're going to be working on today. And I've been going back and forth on where to then put our airport because we are getting to a place where we need to start thinking about it. And so because we have already created so many airports on this island, I want to do some more canals over here, but I want to get it even crazier with the designs. I feel like there's a lot of really fun things we can do with that. So I want to either put the airport on this island or I want to put it a little bit back here because um, we're going to be doing something here and I'll, I'm, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. And so let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll probably do maybe a vote in the community post or something. But so right here or right here. And so what I'm thinking today is we need to. So last episode, we put in this highway and then we extended out our metro. So we connected up this metro over here to this lovely metro station. Then we had one extend up over here to this uh, island right here. And so after doing some test builds and stuff, I kind of came to the conclusion that this isn't really the greatest of areas to just do a ton of skyscrapers so I think what we're going to do is focus on some taller buildings right here and then we are going to use this outer island as some hotels tourism leisure areas and then we're going to use these two islands for residential and then we're going to do this one as a stadium district and then we are going to do that high school right here and then probably I don't know maybe some more commercial or something over here we could probably even do like maybe a small uh, harbor right here to turn it into a small tourism area since it is so close to this do like one of our regular uh, commercial harbors. Um, I didn't really mess with those two islands so far, but we do still have a couple considerations. We still need to focus on our ferries. And it's kind of funny. One of the guys from the, the board has stepped out. His name's Joe Ferry. And um, he ha actually his lineage comes from uh, the, the first person to ever create a ferry. So it's really fun to have him in our city. And he's a great benefactor to the city. And so the city really wants to try and please him, you know, keep him involved. And so we are going to put a ferry uh, stop right here and right here. And then I think we're going to put one over here as well with our stadium. And so we're happy to have Joe on board. Um, and so we are going to do some connections right here and then right there. So the first thing that I did, if anybody noticed, I went ahead and deleted that roundabout. After kind of looking at it, I felt like it just wasn't the greatest use of our space. And so we are actually going to jump into a four unit road. I want to have a tree in the middle. So we'll go like this. And then what we're going to do is probably come out like right there. And then we are going to jump into a two unit road and we are going to come out the same distance, go like right there and then go like right there. And then what I'm going to do is jump into the network multi tool and go to create curve mode. And I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to go like that. And you know what? I feel like that's a little too far. I don't really want it to go up on this key wall. I feel like that might really kind of ruin what we've got, we got going on here. So I think we're going to go like this, go like this. And then I'm going to jump into, eh, you know, maybe not move the mud. So we'll go like right there and then we'll go right there and let's go ahead and try it again. And voila, look at that. Perfecto. And so we are now going to come up over here, connect that up and look at that. I really like the symmetry of this. This is a little bit closer to this, um, this key wall than I'd originally anticipated, but I think it looks good. I'm not worried about it. And so now what I want to do is jump into a one unit road and go to one unit two way. So two lane alley, basically. And um, the reason I'm using this road is because um, I really, you know, you see them a lot in downtowns, especially big downtowns like New York and, you know, Chicago. You see a lot of these just really kind of small roads that help to connect up the grid rather than just big roads everywhere. And then it also encourages people to just use the big road. And so now what we're going to do is jump into unique buildings and let's go ahead and we're just going to get crazy with this. We're going to start placing them down. And so I do want to do one thing I, I know I want to do is place the theater on the other side. So we if I can find it up oh, right here. So theater of wonders. And I really want this to be like right here. So we're going to hit anarchy. We're going to jump into move it mod and I'm going to move this back uh, like right there. I think that is good. And then I have some uh, fun detailing in store for there. So now what we are going to do is jump into our content creator packs and we're going to go to this modern Japan and I want to do this office skyscraper. We're going to do this one right here, right across from the Metro Hub, because that would probably be one of the major selling points. But then I want to do this company headquarters 
It's so funny. This is definitely one of those um, underappreciated content creator packs because just these two skyscrapers alone are just great to have in your city. And they are both a part of the modern Japan content creator pack. And so now what I want to do, I think we're actually going to place a couple more of those buildings. There's some smaller ones. So downtown hotel. Let's go ahead and look at that. So one of these would actually be good. You do tend to have quite a bit of downtown hotels, like smaller hotels. But then I want to do, I believe it was, yeah, this, uh, no, no, no. It was, yeah, city office building because it fits like right in here. Perfect. Look at that. I really like the change in height differences over here. This is something that you do see in downtowns, um, unless they're really, really robust ones like Chicago or New York, where they've just been building for a really long time. You do still tend to see smaller buildings. And so um, I think that might be a small office building. Let's go ahead and look at this. So, I mean, this one could work. It even has a, a lovely little parking lot on the side. Maybe we'll go ahead and place that right there and see how it looks. You know what, that actually doesn't look bad. It's not terrible and let's go ahead. So now what we're gonna do is jump into our district tool, go like that. And then what I'm gonna do is jump into office specialization and go to IT cluster. We're going to do that. And what that does is just allows us to get those super tall IT cluster buildings, which are just fantastic. And so now we're gonna jump into zoning adjuster and I do not want zoning on these little alleys. I want to maximize our zoning on the main roads. I feel like it's going to be so important for us. And so we can keep that one there. We're just going to get rid of those ones. And so now let's go ahead and paint these in. We're going to go like this, come all the way down. And you know, we'll go like that too. And then we're going to come all the way around. And we'll probably even go right there just because I really like getting those buildings next to the metro line. I feel like it's a really cool look when it happens. And then we're going to go ahead and go like that too, just because we'll get a couple buildings right up on there. And you know what? I think that's going to be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and do some water pipes real quick. And voila, water pipes in. Buildings should start coming in, though. Our, our uh, industrial demand really isn't too high, so this could actually take a while. Um, it's kind of funny. After looking at this, I think we may move this building because I still do want to do some landscaping and create like a couple plazas in here. And I feel like this area right here actually might be a great location for that but we are also going to be decorating around the outside. So maybe that'll just be good around there. And then we're actually gonna do like a, a nice park space with a plaza over here as well. So we're gonna let this grow in and then we will come back in a little bit. And so now what I wanna do is start working on these two islands. So we do have a couple considerations. We're probably not gonna have ferries come through these two areas, but we do need to leave some ferry access. So let's go ahead. I think we have a ferry stop somewhere in here. We do, I know we do, where is it? Right there. So we have a ferry stop right there and we actually don't have access right there. So it would have to come up this way, which would mean we would need to leave this bridge open, which is okay, but I think we can go ahead and, and seal these ones off. And then if we do want ferries to come in here, we can just have them come in this side. And I think we'll actually leave this one open, but we're just gonna close off this one right here. Um, cause what we need to do is have a couple bridges over. We're going to do some residential and, and I want to make sure that we have enough space rather than just kind of cramming it in there. Okay. So now what we are going to do is come up over here and we are going to come down. So we need to go down to ground level and then we're going to come up right here. And then what I want to do is create a little bit of a space in here for uh, like a park plaza, possibly even a school. So we're going to come up all the way over here, go straight to the key wall and come up over here. And then I think we will. Go ahead and connect this up. Maybe we'll even create that into a nice little park space. But then we will come up over here and connect these two sides up. And I'm not too worried about the junctions at this point. Um, this isn't gonna be a super high volume area. If it was, then that would definitely be an issue for us. But so then we will come up over here and we'll do the same thing over here. And we'll probably go like right there. Cause what we're gonna try to do is curve this in so we can follow that key wall nice and perfectly. Yeah, we'll go like that and perfecto, except for uh, this height. Oh, you know, whoever built this um, definitely messed up a little bit. I feel like just the pressure and the time constraints, they um, they definitely cut some corners and the ground is just not level. And you know what? I think this looks great. It's functional. It's going to work for our area. And so now what we do need to do is create a little bridge. So we are going to come up over here and we'll go up. You know what? This one actually can't make a bridge. So we're going to come up over here and then what we're going to do is come all the way across and let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do. So I think we we're going to do one ways. 
So we will come up over here and let's go. How does that look? Oh, you know what? That actually looks great. So how far was that? It was about five units and five units with the curve. So then we will come up over here and do the same thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfecto, nice. So then we'll go like that. And you know what? I actually really like that. Again, a lot of junctions, but I'm not super worried about it. This isn't gonna be a high volume area, so we should be okay. Um, famous last words though. And um, as you all are probably aware, city planners make a ton of mistakes. And so this is just all part of the process. Let's go ahead and do a parallel mod. So we're gonna jump into network multi-tool and go to create parallel mode. And we are going to come up over here and we don't want it to be on that side. So I'm gonna actually switch sides. Okay, and there we go. So I was able to uh, set that out. It's kind of funny with the first person camera, it left that little bar on the top for a while. So I just went ahead and finished it real quick. Um, I do need to jump into node controller though and get rid of this. We're gonna go to node list. For some reason I had put a crosswalk in there when we just didn't really need it. And then what we do need to do is upgrade this to a two way road. Having this as one way, I don't think would really benefit us in any meaningful way. So, so now we will come up over here and I think what we're gonna do, maybe we'll create another connection in here but then do a similar plaza. So we got a nice entrance over here with the plaza. We could either have this terminate down into a road and then actually not have it connect up here, or we could do maybe separate connections. So maybe we'll actually try that. We'll go into a one unit road and let's see if maybe we can do like a one way right here and connect that up. And then what we can do is, uh, so that's got a nice connection right there. Maybe we'll just connect this up sideways. You know what? That actually, it doesn't look terrible. Maybe we'll um, get rid of the one ways and we'll go like this. Yeah, you know what? I like it. I think it looks good. And then it leaves us a little bit of room to be able to jump in here. And we're going to come across, go like that. And for some reason, I'm back in one ways. Man, what am I doing? And so, yeah, look at that. I think this is going to be great. So we'll come up over here and there we go. Nice, got a nice clean connection from that. And then let's figure out if we can curve this. And it's kind of funny, my test builds, I just, I did it a little bit different than this. I, I didn't connect it up to that road and I kept going back and forth. I was like, you know what, I would prefer there to be a connection. So we're gonna come up over here, go like that. And then we're gonna come up over here, go like that. Oh, it was just farther away. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and fix that. I didn't even realize I did that. So it's a little bit further away for that other side. And that's why the curves were just a little bit better. A lot of times whenever you're building out something like this, um, trying to get like a nice even curve, it really just comes down to distance like that, like how much space you're allowing for the curve. All right, and so I think this looks pretty good. I do think we're actually gonna get rid of this. Um, I wanted it there so that we could get the ferries across, but I think having a, a regular bridge just go at the same height as the key walls is gonna be a little bit better for this area. So then we're gonna go like this and you know what? It's just going to be more functional. It's going to allow us to not have to um, create that weird bridge. And you know what? I, I think this works just so much better. Um, if we weren't going to have this connection, then I think having that bridge across was going to work out. But otherwise, um, I just I felt like it looked weird. And we'll go like that. We'll go ahead and go like this. And then we'll go ahead and go, go like this as well. And you know what? That is fantastic. And this is going to be some residential areas. We need to do some light shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw down some water pipes real quick. And there we go, we got our water pipes in. And so I do wanna clean up this edge a little bit. I'm like looking at this guy and I just don't like when you can see those cliffs, especially with the key wall. I think it just looks so much cleaner when you can't. Like, look at that, it's just so much better. And so now let's figure out some services. Oh, so it looks like our school is just constantly bouncing back between recognized and renowned. And it has to do with our um, our students. We just we keep going up and then going down, and and it just has to do with our population. We really haven't done any big um, meaningful residential pushes in a while, and so I'm hopeful that this will definitely help out a little bit. So we need to get some services in here. We need to get a school, and I think one one set of services and one set of schooling facilities for both these islands islands will probably be good because they are high density we do need to do it though um so i think we will create a nice space i want to do a nice elementary area as well as a high school and with the high school i want to be able to put in a library so i think what we're actually going to do is get rid of this and this is going to be kind of big for a downtown area normally downtowns wouldn't have um, extensive schooling areas but we're going to try to do our best so i think we're going to come up over here and we're going to come up over here and then now we're gonna connect that up. Let's go ahead and turn this into a two-way road. 
And then let's jump in here. I think we should be able to fit both of them. I think we can mesh the buildings together. The reason I got this idea is because um, I'm actually out in Phoenix right now. And in Phoenix, they have um, some high schools that are connected to libraries. And I, I feel like it's just such a great idea out in Las Vegas, where I'm from. It's not something that you see all the time. But you know what? I think this looks good. I do want that parking space to end at that building line, though, just so we can get a little more realism in there. And I think this looks okay. We are getting a little bit of a bump on that key wall. Same with over here, but I, I don't think it's the end of the world. And so I think high school um, public library looks great. Let's go ahead and put in some facilities across the street. So we're going to jump into the park tab, go to other parks, and we're going to go to tennis courts. And we will go to basketball courts as well, just because why not? You know, you really can't go, can't go too much. You really want to try to provide as many um, different outlets for sports to these kids like it's so important and so now we need to figure out an elementary school and I think we're going to be a little more modest with the elementary school I don't think we're going to do a library I think we'll do that and then what we're going to do is um, do a playground I think playground's fair and then um, we'll just have to assume that there's a lot of street parking in this area one of the things with high rises is um, you tend to have um, a lot of parking within the building and so Man, I think that looks great. This is just fan. Look how, man, we're really doing a lot today. So now we're going to go like that. And then I think we will put in some paths and some trees and stuff. Same with over here. We're going to do some trees. And then we'll probably even do maybe another little, another little park over here. So let's go ahead and do some zoning. So we do need to do some light commercial in here. I think maybe by the school we'll go like right there. We could even do it right there, but I'm tempted to leave that empty. But you do kind of, you, I mean, you. My high school had um, shops nearby and then we're going to do a little plaza right there and then maybe we'll do some more commercial on this side. So there is commercial access for this area, just not a ton. So I think if we come down here, we're going to go like this. We're going to come all the way across. I think we're going to fill this in and then I think we're going to leave the outside empty for right now. Maybe we'll do some trees and stuff, make it look really good. And so let's go ahead and fill this in. And I want to leave this empty. I don't really uh, particularly want anything right on there. Maybe we'll actually do one little shop there. That could be a good little corner store. And then um, let's go ahead and do one here too. And then we will come back over here and do uh, some more residential. And we're actually going to come up on this side since it's a little bit farther. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. We do need to do um, our district to... Uh, all right, and so I went ahead and painted this as a district, and it's kind of funny. It's already grown out. What I do want to do is make this um, self-sufficient buildings. Because this is right on the waterfront, it would be fair to assume that these would be kind of pricey. And so we should start to get some really fun buildings in here. Now I want to do those. Just do some light detailing. And there we go. So I ended up using some different umbrellas over here and it does actually look like we're a little bit off. I would prefer these to be um, to be even. I feel like that would be important. Oh man, come on, you can grab it. There you go. And I still messed up the tile a little bit. Not a big problem though. I'll just grab that and move it back. And then so now we will grab that, line it up. And you know what? It looks pretty good. I feel like this one's a little off though. And I know that this is just such a small thing. I can let it go, but you know what? I like it. I like it. It looks like a big plaza. It, it looks fantastic. Um, I think we did good. And so now let's jump in here. We're going to go to surface painter, fill this in. And I think that looks great too. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this with concrete, just because whenever you have um, high rises like this, they tend to develop the entire space. They don't really leave like dirt immediately next to the high rise. Um, I feel like it's kind of a weird thing that this game does. I think we did really good for this and um, I think we're still growing over here. Let's see. So it looks like we have some empty spaces over here. Maybe we'll do a couple more shops in there just because we can. 
And then let's go ahead and do some trees in here. We're gonna jump in here, go to Live Oak and bring this down. Just, you know, again, all you're looking for is some contrast, make it look natural. Like these trees have been here. This place wasn't just built. And so then we'll jump into foliage, go like this. And then just because I like those flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and place down some more because I think, you know, it, it, it's like they look so good. Now we're gonna go like this and then let's go ahead and fill this in as well and we'll come up here fill this in too and then let's go ahead and fill in the back it's one of the big things with trees too um like if you find your city doesn't look very good a lot of times all you have to do is go through with some trees and cover up some of the lines and that's for um anybody playing you know it's it's such an easy trick because a lot of times your city looks fake because there's just too many lines in there like you can see the lines from the roads or the buildings and you're just like man this doesn't look real and it's because in real life you don't often see this like where the building just ends and concrete ends and it's like dirt or grass sometimes you do but normally there'll be like a curb or a planter or something there to designate that it is the end like somebody built this they're not just going to build like a line of concrete there and so it's, it's such an easy thing you can do to uh, make your cities look more real and there we go and you know what? That already looks so good. I really like it. I think it looks fantastic. And I'm tempted to do concrete around on this side, but I think this looked really good like that. But let's go ahead and jump into some paths and um, connect up our key wall to this area first. And this is just going to help to increase accessibility to this area. We really want people to use these key walls. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to just connect it up. And we're going to do some bridges too, because bridges are so important. Um, I feel like this area could actually use a bridge. Um, though they have a road bridge right there, but this area could definitely use a bridge. I think once we start decorating that area, we'll put in a bridge. This building's burning down, and you know the one thing we forgot? Services. And I said it at the beginning, so I knew we needed to do it, and then we just forgot about it, of course. That's just how it goes. And so let's go ahead and figure out, and I hate to demolish these buildings. We got such a great look going on. Let's go ahead, and we're going to place one right here. We're going to do the medical and then let's jump into fire and we're going to come up over here and do the same thing and you know what because this island looks so great i think we're just going to place it over here anarchy this in and then we are going to delete these buildings just because we really like that placement and then let's go ahead and do a police department as well because i think our coverage for police over here is not that great though we have a police car right there so maybe it's not bad where's our nearest so we have a huge police station right there i think police coverage is actually pretty good just our fire coverage is bad. <laughs> this is terrible. Look at this poor island right here. We're, we're going to have to do a downtown um, fire station. Yeah, we're going to have to. So let's um, figure out. Maybe we'll go like right here. Let's see how that looks. You know what? That's actually not bad. I mean, because you do um, still see fire stations in downtown areas. Like they, they obviously have to be everywhere. And so um, I think that looks good. Let's check out our medical too while we're in there. So it's actually not bad. We don't have any residential in there. So there's really not a huge need. Let's see how well that did for our fire. Looks like we could use a fire station over here too. Put one right there and see what it does. Yeah, nice. Wow, I can't even believe that. And these, because of our um, accessibility over here, our fire departments are having a hard time with these. So we can actually go through with uh, fire watchtowers and kind of just scatter them around the city. But I think this looks pretty good. I really like this island so far. I, uh, I think it looks fantastic. I'm tempted to do concrete around the outside and then do some planters. I think it could look good. I think maybe if we jump in here and do the same thing we did to the other side, so maybe connect this up. Yeah, you know, I think we'll do concrete because then we can do uh, some nice planters. I think it'll look great. So then we're going to do concrete all the way around this, not where the park areas are, though. And we'll go like that. You know what? I like it. And it leaves us a lot of opportunity to do like maybe um, some festivals or something like that. Like we could do like a food festival where we put up a bunch of tents, something fun, um, especially with big areas like this. It really allows us the opportunity to do some events like maybe for some holidays and stuff and i think it would be great and so now let's jump in here and i want to do some trees around here just kind of clean it up real quick and there we go so i ended up doing these um these planters all the way around and i think they just look really great i like the look of these i think they are fantastic and so now these two islands look pretty good um if you guys have any other suggestions go ahead and let me know in the comments i feel like it looks good but i could also be missing something i'm, I'm not you know, I'm not perfect, but let's go ahead and move on to this next one. And what I want to do is jump into a one unit road, two lane, 
and we are going to follow this key wall all the way around. We're going to turn snapping on. And what we're going to do is come down here. I'm going to go like right there and come across and go all the way down. And the reason I'm doing this is because I really want it to maximize our zoning on this on this island because um, it's kind of smaller. And this would also be a, a very valuable island to develop on because it is just has great views and really has um, a lot going for it. And so the land value here would probably already be naturally higher. And so like hotels would want to develop here just because of the view, especially with this huge mountain in the back. And and then if we do residences, which, which I'm not sure we are, um, this would definitely be a place where you would want to live. And so now what I'm going to do is jump in here and what we're going to do is just do roads across and they are not going to be like that. That was not a great road. And so now we will go like this and we'll come up over here, do the same thing. Well, 90 go like that. And I want to go to force ground PC and 90. Perfect. Look at this. This is going pretty well. And so now we'll go like that and we'll come up over here, do the same thing. And then we'll come up over here, do the same thing. And let's go ahead and complete it while we're over here. We can do the same thing over here. And then what I'm going to do is jump into the move it mod. And we are going to shift this up just a little bit, not getting crazy, just enough. Go like that. Nice. And, um, you know, I think that right there looks really good. And so now let's jump into a two unit road and we are going to create some connections for this. So we're going to come up over here and I'm going to go to unmodded so we can get a nice bridge out of that. And then let's come up over here as well. Connect that up if I can get it. And then let's go ahead and do one more in here, maybe right here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And we want to make sure that these aren't too steep. No, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I mean, it's definitely on the steep side, but it's not not unheard of. I think that looks good, too. I think these are great. And again, I don't really think that this is going to be too crazy. I think maybe we'll do one more right here. We could actually curve it in. I think that would be good. So if we come up over here, go like that. You know what? I think that is fantastic. And it helps to create that accessibility, which is just so important. And so let's go ahead and look at our ferry access right now. So I don't want to do a ferry, ferry stop right here. So I think we will go like that, jump in here, go to ships, and then go to ferry stop. Let's go ahead. I want it to be like right there, but then I want to put one over here as well. So then we're going to do the same thing. Get rid of these, come in here to a ferry stop, go like that. Yeah, perfect. And then I know we're going to do one right here too, but we still need to um, create a little accessibility. So I think a ferry, I would like the ferries to come in here. I just don't know how feasible it is. Maybe we could do a stop like right here and then have it come this way and then get over there. Yeah, you know what? That actually, I think that would actually work out good because we did um, keep a little bit of a corridor. So maybe we'll do, um, yeah, ferry stop right here. I think that'll be great. And then we're not going to do a ferry stop on this island. I have something special for that island. And so now let's jump back into roads and connect this up. Actually, go back to back up a little bit. Network multi-tool. Go to unlock segment because I do not want this kind of a thicker road on there. I want our one unit little alley road. And let's go ahead and connect this up. Yeah, nice. Look at that. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Upgrade that and then go to freeform and follow that. Connect it up. And I do want that to be a ground piece so like that. I think it did the same thing on this idea I did. Nice. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And so now what I want to do is jump in here and we are going to find some fun buildings to put in here. And I want to do some hotels. You know what? I'm actually going to use find it. And we are going to jump in here, go to hotel. I think I'm going to turn off vanilla. I think we already have this Marriott one. Maybe not, though. I thought we did. Do we have the Marriott over here? Yeah, we do. Okay, so I think if we do this Hotel Comrade, I, I really like this one. I think this is going to be a great fit for this area. I wish it was white, though. Let's go ahead and jump into Repaint. And let's go and, uh, you know, that's it's definitely lighter. It um it doesn't look bad. I kind of wish it was more white, though. And those that black glass I don't think fits in that well. But I think we're going to do some more around it. And we'll kind of see, because I want to do this Hotel Hilton. Because I feel like this one's going to be great. So I think if we... Place this one down and then what we're going to do is get rid of this back road and then that way we can actually kind of center this out. And you know what? I like that one. It's kind of a small Hilton, especially compared to our large Hyatt that we did a couple episodes ago. But um, I think it looks good. It definitely fits in with this area. And so now let's go ahead. Let's paint this all as one district before we forget. 
So we are going to literally come all the way down and go around, go like that. Yeah, nice, perfect, look at that. We'll paint this as its own district as well, and then we are definitely painting this one as its own district. So now we pretty much have it all district out. We could actually, while we're in here, let's go ahead and do this one too. This is gonna be our stadium district. So we're gonna go like that. And then now let's go ahead. We are gonna change this to the tourism specialization because I really wanna get some of those tall hotels in here and I wanna get some fun stuff. So let's jump back in here and let's see what other hotels we have. So we have this kind of smaller one. I think that'll work. And then let's see. So we have these ones that we, you know what? Maybe we'll do the resort hotel over here because we did the resort hotel in Crater Lake and it is a great hotel. You know, maybe we're going to use this one for the resort hotel because I think this is a great building. I really like the layout of it. But then let's do this spa and hotel. I think this one's good. We can actually turn this one sideways. And then what I'm going to do is jump in to move it and kind of shift it around just so we can get it to uh, look a little better. I think maybe we'll keep that for right now. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy this and then uh, turn it around because I want this to be almost like one giant hotel. So we'll go like right there. And then um, I think that looks pretty good. I, I actually really like those ones. I think they look great. And then let's go ahead and fill in the rest of this with zoning. And again, I don't want any zoning on these alleyways. So I'm going to jump into zoning adjuster and just come through here and remove zoning on all these little crossing streets. And this is kind of twofold. I, I don't want zoning on them because of the look, but then I also don't want zoning on them because it kind of helps um, access for that road. So we're going to go like that. And you know what? I think this is going to be pretty good. This is definitely a lot of commercial zoning, but we'll kind of see as it comes in if we... Um, if we redo it or not. The tourism zoning gives off a lot of noise and so we really can't do any um, any residential over here. And so I just don't think it's gonna be the best bet, but maybe, you know, let's actually do some parking lots. So we're gonna go like that. And then we are gonna come up over here as well. Let's, so we got one big parking lot right there. Let's go ahead and do one right there too. And then we're gonna figure out a spot over here. Maybe we're gonna get rid of these ones too. And we'll do a big parking lot right there. And we're gonna have it go underneath because that is something that you do tend to see in, in these areas. Like I was looking at Fort Lauderdale and, and Miami and uh, areas like this would be heavy tourist centric. And so you would need quite a bit of parking. And so I think that's gonna be good. I think it is a great compromise. And now we're gonna start getting some great buildings in. And then once they grow in, we'll start doing some detailing and stuff. But now what I want to do is um, do some water pipes. I don't think I have any for this area. Nope. No, I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them in real quick. Nice. Perfect. And so now let's go in here and we are going to do our parking lot. So now we're going to go to this road condition tab and I'm going to not, not do the big parking lots this time. We're actually going to do these smaller ones and let's see if we can fit. So I think, yeah, I think the smaller ones can be better. So we're going to come up here, right here. Actually, you know what? I think the medium one will fit. Yeah, we're going to go like that. That is perfect. And then let's jump into this road. Let's connect it up. And then I want to connect it on the other side as well. And then what we need to do is kind of play around with this and get it to be um, as wide as it can be. So I think, you know, that's probably good right there. And then let's jump into spaces. And I think because this is a bigger one, we can actually, yeah, we'll go like that. And so now what I'm going to do is come over here and basically replicate that. I think I may do two, maybe a bigger one right here and then a smaller one. Okay, and you know what? I think that looks great. And I think we made a smart move by doing the parking. We could even do some more parking right here too. I think that would be good. So I'm going to put in one more parking lot right here as well. And I think we'll even, maybe we could do one of the even bigger ones. Maybe we'll come up over here and we'll connect it up. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks fantastic. We will jump in here and then put in our spaces now. So we're going to come up over here, go like that, go like that, go like that, go like that, go like that. And perfect. Nice. And so let's see. It looks like this is a little off. Yeah, we want that to be right there. Nice. And so now we have parking, a bunch of parking, parking right there. Um, we'll do a little bit of parking over here as well. So we'll come up over here and I think maybe we'll even do it on the other side too. We'll go like that. Nice. There we go. And I decided not to put a parking lot on this side because I really wanted to create like some nice grounds in here. And so now what I want to do is jump in here and we are going to decorate this up a little bit. And so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into these live oaks. I'm just going to cover up some of these lines. Again, this is one of the easiest ways that you can make your city just look a little bit better. And it's kind of funny with these parking lot roads, you always have a little bit of an issue. You have to be like perfectly overhead. Otherwise, it, it feels like you're putting it on the parking lot. So we're going to go like this and then we're going to come in here, go like that. 
you know, I'm skipping them around because I want to do other trees as well. I don't want it to just be one type of tree. It's really important when you're trying to go for realism in here. Um, if you're looking for like an overgrowth look, then you, you need to have a scattering of trees. If you have just one type of tree, then it's more of like a landscaping, which landscaping is still a really good look, but this is definitely not what we're going for here. Nice. And I think that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is jump in here and we are going to do concrete on this front side. And I want to do concrete right there too. And the reason we're doing concrete here is because we want to create a little bit of like a boardwalk. That's what I'm going for here. And a lot of times boardwalks are obviously wood and not concrete, but this is still going to satisfy our, uh, our look. And I do want to go back through here and get rid of it on the ground. I don't like that look. And there we go. You know what? I think that looks fantastic. It does look like we're missing a little bit over here, but I'm going to jump into find it now and I'm going to go to planter and then search through my endless list of planters since I kind of have a, have a planter addiction, it looks like. And then we are going to choose this. Yeah, you know what? This one looks great. And then what I'm going to do is literally just place them down and then skip a little bit and then place them down, skip a little bit, place them down. I'm going to have to turn it to and I'm just going to go all the way down. And there we go. So I got planters all the way down and now we will jump into paths and we will go to unmodded. And what I'm going to do is just connect our road up to the key wall so that we get some people walking around. Cause again, that's really what you want to go for here. And so we're going to connect any of these junctions up anywhere where we have a crosswalk, any random spaces where we don't have a path in a little while. And we're going to go like this. And for some reason, I mean, the, your Sims will prefer to walk on the key wall in a lot of instances. And so we should start seeing a lot of people use this as a, a, a form of transportation, which is just great. I love it seeing all the people in here. I think it just looks so cool. And so now I do want to fill in some of these spaces. I'm kind of like looking at this and and I was thinking that it was going to fill in with some rezoning, but I feel like this is just missing something. And that is definitely not it. We don't want to put a tree in there. So then I think what we'll do is jump into our lovely little flower bush. And we'll kind of fill these in. Just do some some scatterings of them. Again, this is very similar to the flowers. You don't want to overdo it because it'll start to look like heavy landscaping. You want to look look like overgrowth. And there we go. I feel like that looks a lot better already. That looks fantastic. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and do some concrete on this side and then do the same exact thing with some planters real quick. And there we go. I got it in and I think it looks fantastic. We are having some abandonment issues over here. I think it's get yeah, Oh, because no water. Didn't we hook up the water? Pretty sure I did. Yeah. I, ooh, we need more water. Wow. I guess we man. So Let's go ahead and jump over here to our water facility and we'll go ahead and place down. We'll go one. We'll do two more. Yeah, you know what? I feel like this is going to be good. Perfect. And that should be good. We shouldn't have any pollution yet because these aren't actually working. They're just for looks. So we'll go like that, go like that. And you know what? So now let's go ahead and look at our water again. Yeah, we're great now. Let's come back over here. So now we should be good. Um, we should have checked that earlier. That's totally my bad. I thought for some reason that we had enough water. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and decorate up these areas. So we got the one parking lot. And then we would assume that this parking lot maybe covers this area. And so now what I want to do is do like some fountains. And then I would like to do like a pool area maybe. And then... Um, we need to first off take surface painter and fill this front section with concrete because that would be uh, kind of weird. And then I want to do some fences too. So let's actually do the fence first so we know what we're working with. So we're going to come in here and we're just going to use the park fence. Perfecto. And so now what I would like to do is create a little bit of a pool area. All right, so we're going to use our seating curb again. And I know this is it's not exactly going to look like a pool, but we're going for it. We're going to go. And there we go. So I did a little pool area. I, I don't have any like stairs or diving boards or anything, but 
Um, I did a bunch of these little chairs with umbrellas, and then I did a couple of these little food stalls um, so that people could grab some food, or maybe they're like bars, so you could grab a drink or something, and so now we have a whole nice little outdoor area. And then I think what we're going to do over here is do some trees, and I'm, I want to do a fountain back here. And so we're going to jump in here, and I'm just going to cover up this parking lot with these big live oaks again, because I just really like the look of them. I know I keep saying that, but man, they're just great trees. And then I think we will actually use some palm trees, even though we haven't had any so far. And we'll go like this, and just because it's landscaping. Yeah, nice. I like that. And you know, what? we may even do some on that side too, just to kind of block it off a little bit. But then what I'm going to do is jump into the move it mod. We're going to go to this little toolbox, go to this and go to import selection. So we will go to square fountain. We'll go to import. And you know, what? that's actually not bad. So we'll come back here and we will go like right here. Yeah. You know what? I think that looks fantastic. And we're going to raise this up a little bit. It looks like our water is just a little off. I think we may even just place down some more water so we don't have to play around with it. And it actually looks like it's our ground. So if we come in here and go to soften terrain. Nice. So now we got a nice little fountain back here. And I think maybe we can move it just a little bit. So if we come back here and just go like that, you know what? That looks a lot better. And then let's go ahead and do some concrete. So we will come in here, paint this whole guy concrete. Nice. And then I want to do some planters and some seating areas and just kind of make it into a nice area. And there we go. I think that looks really good. I just did the fountain, some concrete, and then some planters in there to create some points of interest for people. I do want to get rid of some of these jaggedy edges back here. So I think we're going to paint that all in as concrete. And then I think we will go like this. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I do want to do a little beach area over here since we don't have any beach access on this island. And so what we're going to do is just do some chairs with some, uh, some umbrellas and just make it into an area where it's more of like a public space. This isn't something that people have to pay for. And so it'd be uh, just a nice amenity for the people. So we will come up over here and I think we're going to go level with the key wall. Yeah, we'll go like right there. And we're just going to do probably like three rows of this. Yeah, I think this is going to look good. And then what I'm going to do is find tent. And I have a, quite a few tents now. I I really like tents. You really have, you have so much that you can do with tents. And so I've just been collecting them recently. But we want to go to this big events tent. I really like this guy. It is a great asset, especially for, it's actually designed for beach areas, but it's um just like an outdoor eating area. So now like if somebody wanted to grab some food or maybe you could rent these or something. And so um, you could come out here with the family and just kind of have a good time. I think that looks great, especially because we provided it for the city. I think this is just a fantastic addition. And so now let's jump in here and I'm going to go to an invisible path and we are going to connect this up so that we can actually get some people walking through here. So we're going to come through here, connect that up. We're going to come through here, connect that up. We're going to come through here, connect that up. And now we should get some people actually walking through here, which is fantastic. And so while we're while we're at this, let's go ahead and hook up our ferry lines now, since Joe Ferry would probably be all on top of that. All right, and so let's go into ships and we will go to ferry pathway and we will turn this on so that we can see it. And let's go ahead. We are going to connect this guy up. We're going to come down here, connect it up right there, and then we'll come up over here, right click, get out of here, go like this. I want to follow the coastline just so that people could maybe use this as like a tour too. I think that would be really cool. So then now we'll come up over here and then we will turn it in. Let's come through here and this would be like the cool part. Like if you're taking a tour through the city, maybe you're visiting, you'd be able to drive through these and kind of see all the tall buildings. Like I think it would just be fantastic. I did one of these in Paris before um, and then you get to see like the Eiffel Tower and everything. And it just, I just remember it being a really cool experience. And then we will come up this way and then we will connect it up. Nice. Look at that. And I think we could even come back down this way. So now let's come up here and we'll connect that up. Then we will come up here and then come down and then we should be able to connect up. Nice. Look at that. And it does look like we are coming across a bridge that is not lowered into the ground. So we are going to have to raise this up. And this is something that the city has to pretty much do because we really don't. Joe Ferry is a very large contributor to the city in a lot of different ways, and we would not want to lose that. And so this would be something that we really wouldn't we really wouldn't have a choice to do. We would just need to provide that access. And so now we're going to go like this. And then I think we could even let's go ahead and create another node over here. 
So we're going to go like right there. And then what we're going to do is lower this one down. Nice. And then let's use the picker mod, grab that road and then turn this segment into a ground segment. Look at that. Perfect. And so now we can at least get some uh, some more zoning back here. We're not going to be stuck. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this island at this point, but who knows? It's still uh, got a lot of potential. So now let's jump back into the transport tab and go to our ferry lines. Yeah, we're going to go right here and let's create a new line. So we're going to come up here off of our big pier, connect this up, connect that up, come through here, connect that up, come through here, connect that up and then come all the way back. Yeah, look at that. And you know what? I think we're going to do one the opposite way too. So we're going to come up here, add stop and voila. Perfect. And so now we have two ferry lines going each direction. So this would really help to provide that much needed access for this area. Super excited about it, man. We really did a lot. I think this looks good. And so now let's jump in here and we are going to do a pathway. We didn't decorate this middle section. You guys can kind of see we're having some traffic issues right here. We may need to address that. But we are going to come up here, connect this up, go through here, connect this up, do the same thing here, connect it up, and there we go. And then what I want to do is come over here and do the same thing. So we're going to come up here, connect it up. We didn't even connect up this ferry line yet. Wow, I can't even believe I did that. That's terrible city planning right there. But So now we're going to go to unlock and we are going to grab this guy. We want this to turn a little bit. We could do a smaller road all the way around, or we could just simply connect this up. I think we're going to go like that. And then what we'll do is probably just connect it up. So we'll go like that. And then we will come up here. Maybe we'll go just a little bit further and then turn it. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. Because what I plan to do over here is park space. So let's actually jump into the district tool and we are going to jump in here, go to paint park area. And we are going to turn this all into a park. So I think this is just going to be an awesome location for us. Now we're going to go into parks and plazas. We are going to go to city park and we're going to use the small main gate because that big main gate is just huge and we really don't need it. And so um, we're not going to really worry about people not paying for entry as um, I don't really like the whole pay for park entry kind of motif. Let's go ahead and decorate up this island because we really didn't do anything in here. And I think we're going to do a little plaza right here. I think that would be great. So let's jump in here and we're going to go to our plazas tab and we could do the paradox plaza it is our downtown so we could pay homage to the game creators you know what i think that looks good so we're going to go like that and then let's go ahead and paint in this all as concrete again because it's a downtown area you really wouldn't see um, all of this it's like downtowns are just concrete jungles so we're going to come up over here and we're going to end the concrete right there and then what we will do is come back through here and do planters and trees and just make it look great. That's really my goal here. I want this to be like the centerpiece of our city. So we're gonna go like that and it already looks so good. I like the, I like how we did the shorter building in the middle too. I feel like that gives a nice little change in, um, in the aesthetic. I do wish that we didn't have all these though. So I wonder if we can pause, get rid of these and then I have a pretty tall building I think we can smash in here. That's just going to look a little bit better. So if we come in here, let's go ahead and place this one down. Yeah, you know what? That looks so much better. I think we may. Let's see if we have another one. I think we may have one more. So let's get rid of this. We're going to get rid of those two. Let's see if we can place this one in. Yeah, you know what? I actually like that too. I like how it melded with those other two. I think that looks great. I like those additions. I think they're definitely better than having the same building all over. Um, and then I think these will upgrade too. Oh, I guess they won't. So those are a little bit smaller. These all look really good though. I like this building. I think it looks fantastic. It's just the standardy one you see a lot. Like it's just the same building over and over again. I think that looks good right there. Um, let's just, you know, just because we're here, let's see if we have any more. I know we have this one, but this one's a huge one. And I think we're going to save this for our second downtown. And then I think we are going to save the observ observation tower as well. How does that look if we do it right there? That is, I like the height difference in there. I think it looks great, but maybe, you know what, let's, um, we're going to try it out and then we shall see. So if we come in here, go like that, how does that look now? You know what? I actually really like that. I think that looks great and it kind of adds to our skyline too. So now, like in silhouette shots of our skyline, that would be one of the most prominent features. 
you know what? I think we're going to keep it. That is just too good to pass up on. We're going to move this over, get our nice little plaza. And then now what I'm going to do is just do a little uh, detailing time lapse where I'm going to place down some planters and then just clean this all up, make it look a little more alive. Okay, and so I got it all done, and I definitely took a little bit of a different approach with this one. I decided to do these hexagonal uh, planters and kind of mesh them around in a bunch of fun shapes, and I felt like it really helped to create a nice area around this theater. I really like it, and so now if you're coming to see a show, you could just kind of come out here and look out over the water, and especially once we get this next island done, it's just going to look really cool, um, especially if you're like bringing the kids and stuff. And and then I just flanked it with some fountains and then I did a bunch of these purple trees around and then just a big planter in front of our fairy. And it's kind of funny. Our fairy is very popular over here. I feel like even pop more popular than the I think because the metro ends right here. It's really great access for a lot of people to get over to these other islands really quickly. And so this fairy stop is definitely proving to be one of the more popular ones. Um, but then I really like this downtown. I think we did a great job. All right, so I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and do a cinematic of today's build as well as some lovely night shots of everything. I did end up placing some, some lights down and I think it's going to look really great. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next episode.